What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today and I hope you guys are doing great. So today I wanted to do a quick mid-January State of the Grow video and boy is there a lot of things but actually there's not much. I only have good news for you guys. So basically this is just a small little segment. This is actually about half of the grain jars I have. So basically, if you guys remember, recently I've been having issues with slow colonization, absolutely taking months. As you can see, this was inoculated on the 28th. This is fully colonized. I will be spawning these starry nights today. So anyways, I figured out what's causing the slow colonization of my grains. It was actually a multitude of factors, I believe. One of it could be somewhat bacterial spawn and may still have that, but I don't know. But anyways, a bunch of them are doing great. Once I switched from the flash prep method back to the old soak and boil method for at least the rye grains. So over here, we got some Mexicans, guys. We got five jars of Mexicans basically fully colonized. This was done on the 2nd of January. And today's like the 14th or something like that, somewhere thereabouts. So we are right back on schedule of how long it used to take for me to fully colonize from agar. It's been actually fully colonized for a day now. So it's looking fantastic. I got a bunch more jars of Mexicans as well that are fully colonized. So that is very exciting. And I, I'm going to now, after making this video, I'm finally gonna birth this truffle jar. And if you guys remember the truffle harvesting video from Christmas from the shoebox, same genetics so we will be comparing the yield today so in this one i'm gonna also open this eventually i'll have to open it eventually but i got lots of projects going on here guys so in terms of the rehydration experiment the grain rehydration experiment went well for the most part some of the grains really took off afterwards some of them did not like this guy this guy had 30 cc's in total and the and the mycelium is coming back if you can see it it's very very thin and wispy though and it always was so I think there's just something about these grains or something that it's just not really uh, meshing with it. So I might spawn it once it's fully colonized. I don't know, uh, but I'll see. And also, as you can see, I've been messing around with brown rice because of the slow colonization and they're doing great. In fact, I just shook them up today so you can't see the mycelium too much, but there's just a ton of mycelium. Hopefully, yeah, for example, this one, right? This one's still not shaken. You see a bunch of mycelium, right? And this was from the 10th. Right, so really things are looking up guys. So I will be having fruiting very soon, hopefully. So yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, this is the other experiment, if you guys remember. The uh, grainy poo jars, this one's doing well. I had one more jar, but unfortunately my inoculation, my sterile technique was very sloppy while I was doing that because I was doing a Discord call, like a conference call on Discord while I was working in my SAB. I do not recommend multitasking in a SAB, okay? <laughs> Uh, so that's what happened basically. It was a sloppy inoculation, totally my fault. So next time, no calls while I'm working in a sap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, here's another one. This is Tad Black Cap on grain. As you can see, they're doing fantastic. Now the Starry Nights, unfortunately, are not doing well with the soak and boil, but not because of the grains or anything like that. It's because I've been having issues with um, these agar wedges sticking on the wall, right? Which is what I usually do because I like to see the colonization. But these guys just literally, even if no matter how hard I shake them, they'll never come off the wall. And like the, the mass of mycelium around this wedge is so hard, which is not a good sign. It usually means it's bacterial. Visually, it doesn't look like it's got too much problems at all. But yeah, I went with two shakes now just to spread out, just to get one grain here, just to chip one grain off of this big mass, you know, here and there. So you, as you can see, there's not much, but basically that was the problem. It's just super, super thick and it's, re it's impossible, literally. I've shaken the crap out of it. It's literally really like tough to get this thing off of the wall. And that's sort of been my problem. So now uh, I've stopped doing that. And what I do is, I don't, I don't think I have a good example I can show you guys right now, but generally what I, oh yeah, here we go. What I do is, so I don't have the whole thing on the glass now. You know, it's not like a starfish on there. So what I try to do is I try to basically have like most of it visible, right? I just shook this, so that's why you can't see it much. But what I try to do now is I try to have most of it visible. Imagine it's new, I just inoculated. I try to have most of it, but I have like grains in between. So I could still see the wedge, but I got grains in between so that it's not it's not sticking onto the glass, if that makes sense. So that way it'll just make it a lot easier. So that's why this Mex uh, this Mexican, uh, grass lover had no problems because I was able to actually completely break up the chunk and shake it up Whereas the other ones are actually a little behind and that's simply because I uh, same problem with this 
but as you can see it's colonizing very fast and nicely inoculated at the same time so with this guy i only shook this guy up once that's why the mycelium looks thick because once was more than enough you know whereas this guy i shook it up twice because of this issue right here the stuck on the thing issue although yeah oh yeah yeah as you can see it's still stuck on there so that kind of thing so yeah guys that's basically what's going on and i actually made a couple of uh, swaps so basically okay so i got core lovers right i got mutated core lovers going uh, in the form of steel mags and starry knights and then i got a bunch of different cultures of floridian grass lovers right i i'm not showing you guys all because i have like three or four different plates of them going different genetics right and then i also have Mexican grass lovers. I got two different cultures of Mexican grass lovers going. So I got five plates total right now going. Really excited guys, really excited. And I also have, I just put a bunch, I just swabbed some natty lights. That's right, some natty lights on plates. So, okay, I'm gonna tell, I did, I did five plates, right? I did five plates in total. And the thing is every single one of them had bacteria like this. Bacteria, bacteria bacteria but then this plate literally has nothing no bacteria at all so strange so i think this is probably like the last plate i did and i guess the bacteria sort of got tired <laughs> but if you look here you can actually see where is it you can actually see uh, some mycelium starting to pop up one moment guys there we go there we go there we go you see that right under the m that's some mycelium going on there. And there is a bit more mycelium that I saw, like this here. I think that, nah, that might be some mycelium. But yeah, this is definitely mycelium right under, under the M. So yeah, there's a couple more spots, but you know, I don't want to bore you guys. There are mycelium spots on this. So that means that there is going to be some natty light content coming soon. So stay tuned for that. So basically guys, lots of stuff going on. And guys, I forgot to mention, but there's a lot of poo lover content as well. Other than the grainy poo jars, I got a bunch of poo cakes and I got two grain jars with poo lovers. After a slight lull in the Christmas season and the winter season, uh, we are getting back on track. Things are looking up. Thank you all for your patience, and I hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael File Sage, checking out.